we're gonna drive on down, pick up my granddaughter, Andrea. She's getting out of school right now. Uh, and as we do, we're going, let's see, time is 2.15, I'll go to 2.20. And uh, what we're gonna talk about is the retrograde motion of Venus, and I think it's Uranus and Pluto, as compared to the rest of the planets that revolve around the Sun, of course, in uh, counterclockwise uh, motion, and also spin in counterclockwise motion. And when we study this, we'll say, well, how does uh, the application of, uh, well, let me shift gears here, how does the application of spin theory that says that precession has a big event on, uh, uh, a precession would have a big uh, uh, influence on this motion? Well, uh, what that would say is that as we look at the planets and we see Earth, and let's study Earth and the Moon, we're seeing that the Earth is acting very much like a top that would be uh, a, a force applied to the Earth as a spinning top moves exactly like we would think. And uh, that's an interesting thing because we know that the events that are taking place will be from atom to atom. That is, energy that leaves the sun uh, will uh, hit the Earth, not the Earth per se, but the atoms of the Earth. It is an atom to atom transfer. But this transfer is having an effect. Uh, I'm driving, so you know I'm going to be doing some shifting here. Here we go. And it looks like traffic is coming. Oh, look at the buzzards over there. Uh, what are those? What are they doing over there? Buzzards, buzzards. Well, buzzards are getting a meal in a minute. Here we go. Woohoo! Okay. We'll slow down here. I'm driving. And I'll put it on uh, cruise. Uh, kind of nice areas through here. And let's see, what's our time? 2.17. Well, we got three minutes. Okay. Uh, the transfer of transmigrational mass or energy, however we want to look at this, from atom to atom. But what we see the Earth doing in relationship to the Sun is, uh, of course, rotating around the Sun in a counterclockwise manner and spinning in a, a counterclockwise manner as it rotates around the Sun. And we see most of the planets doing this. The three planets we see that aren't doing it are uh, very interesting. It's not that they're not doing what, what the other planets are doing, but it looks like that they've fallen over on their axis. Venus, of course, has fallen over on its axis, and it's doing, it's of course rotating the same direction as all the planets that rotate around the Earth, but it's because it's fallen over on its axis, it is, uh, it, it, it is retro. Uh, grade in its motion, and that is compared to the other planets, so what we call the North and the South Poles. So, although, Jup uh, although Venus and uh, Uranus and Pluto tend to have a retrograde motion, what we see in these three planets is that they've fallen over, and we know tops from our experience here in, in uh, aviation and, and other places where we've used uh, 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 spinning gyros to give us information, we have noticed that they too will topple, if not caged as we call it uh, in the uh, profession of aviation. So tops will, after uh, application of forces applied to them, will for a number of reasons can lose speed of spin and can fall over on their axis. And the earth is doing that, it is falling. Uh, and Mars is falling. It's falling a little bit more than the Earth. We're spinning up a little bit more. Uranus and Pluto have fallen over on their axes, and uh, they're still rotating around the uh, Sun as they were. And of course, the rotation, uh, and we're running short here, so I'm going to have to close this little thing down, uh, is that we're going to study this, and we're going to think that there's a lot of information here to look at in this, uh, not only in the way the solar system is working with its spin and, and precession and everything, but it's going to give us a bit a, a look at how the planets are going to spin and process, as does the top on the Earth. And I'm out of time, so I'm going to have to end it there. And we'll pick up, you know, and do a little bit more of this later.